Right now at 6, SWAT standoff. The investigation led us to here, which is the last known address. After a father goes on a deadly spree. The secretary was coming out screaming to somebody, please call 911. Three police scenes. Tonight, what we know about the victims and the accused killer. That hour-long standoff, hours-long standoff, just ending in the last hour with the suspect being taken to the hospital. We have live team coverage for you tonight. Local 10 News reporter Derek Shore is live in Kendall, and we begin with Nikki Mohan in southwest Miami-Dade. Nikki. That standoff lasted several hours. It came to an end about an hour ago. Let's show you the video from Southwest 147th Avenue and Quail Roof Drive in a field near there. He was loaded into an ambulance. The suspect, Fidel Jabardo, um, was negotiated with for hours following that shooting at the Kendall Law Firm. He stood there in that field and talked to negotiators, eventually taken into an ambulance. We are not sure of why he was put into an ambulance, but he was put into an ambulance and taken away around 5 o'clock. We also have video. He was airlifted to Jackson South shortly thereafter. We have video of him arriving at the hospital. Again, we are not sure why he was transported by medical, but that was the conclusion of this hours long standoff that all began after that shooting at that Kendall law firm and police discovering two dead bodies at his home. We still cannot determine which one happened first. Miami-Dade crime scene units remain on the scene in front of the home on Southwest 135th Avenue and 192nd Street. Police say this is the last known address for Fidel Jabado, the man identified as the shooter earlier at a Kendall law firm. The investigation led us to here, which is the last known address, and that's where we make our discovery of the two deceased adults. Friends of the family showed up at the scene distraught and confused. Sir, get the anything, anything you can say at all? No, nothing at all. Thank you. This man identified himself to police as a relative, but would not comment to reporters. Community leaders have confirmed to Local 10 that this family attends a local mosque, and Jabato was married and had several children. <laughs> With Jabato still at large, we saw law enforcement racing through the area. Some schools were put on lockdown. Several schools were placed on lockdowns based on the investigation, only because of the possible relationships of the subject, whether, you know, whether it's family members or not. We needed to place them in, 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 in uh, secure custody, in protective custody. Back out live here at the, his home at 135th Avenue and Southwest 196th Street. Crime scene detectives still working on that home, that area, those two bodies still inside of the home. They will not confirm to us who those people are, but they did say that the, there was one adult male and one adult female inside this home. We will stay on top of this. That's the latest live now in Southwest Miami-Dade. Nikki Mohan, Local 10 News.